Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Construction Junction. Bil we're building on God's Word. Each week through mid-August, we, we will be bringing you an opportunity to be a faith builder. So get your construction hats on. Away we go. Well, we know that our families are engaged in raising children, having um, home projects, maybe you're running a business, um, and, and even staycations because it's summertime as we travel through COVID together. But, you know, it's really critical that we stay connected while we are apart, standing on God's solid ground his solid rock. As we endure uncertainty, as things change, we know that God's love never changes. It never, ever changes. We hope you find the platform um, as self-paced and enriching, not stressful um, throughout our time together. Um, today, uh, today on YouTube, you'll be able to click on Connie Glowacki reading the Bible story to our children, um, the two builders, and Eloise, you'll see Miss Eloise and our friend Jenna. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Good old Jenna. Jenna and Eloise are going to teach us about our mission project for this week. Our mission project being that everybody will have a letter um, to send out to one of our friends at Shepherd of the Bay, and you'll learn more about that. Um, the Von Trapp family, oh, wait, no, not the Von Trapp family, the Schwab family <laughs> will be um, leading us in music. And um, and then Carol Omernick and Christy Apple will be showing um, arts and crafts. Um, and so in your toolkit this week, if you had picked it up um, tonight at Construction Junction, um, your toolkit looks something like this. And then also there's another bag with all your arts and crafts supplies. But inside this bag, um, you're going to find for this week, the parable of the wise and foolish builders um, from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 through 27. If you have a Bible at home, you'll also want that for this. It kind of, it will um, get your kids diving into the Bible and knowing where to find it, this, this parable inside the Bible. Um, you're also going to have inside of here, there is a little um, paper craft that will help you tell the story. And I'm just going to turn the camera here so that you can see. I got started on mine already. Um, but it's therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house, who built his house on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. Okay, so um, you can put that together with your kids. And then, let's see. <clears throat> I think, um, okay, so that those are all the things that you're going to find in here. And then I would recommend if you have a little extra time, because usually for vacation Bible school, we always do a snack with our kids. Um, and so what you can do, I'm going to give you a recipe um, for something that's really yummy for breakfast. And you can also um, remember the story from Matthew 7, the parable. So what you're going to want to do is cook a little quinoa, two cups of water to one cup of quinoa. Um, and then set that aside. You can gather, if there's no nut allergies in your house, you can gather some slivered almonds. Um, you can slice up some strawberries, or maybe you like blueberries better. And then I also like to add a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, of homemade um, maple syrup, okay? Um, or 
you can use a little bit of honey instead. And then if you want, you can also add your favorite milk. Um, currently I'm drinking almond milk, but maybe you have cow's milk or um, soy. You can use coconut milk. It all tastes really good together. And you can heat that up, reheat that up in the microwave and it makes for a really yummy, yummy breakfast. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's all done. <clears throat> I thought, hmm, the quinoa can remind us of the sand and maybe the strawberries and the almonds remind us of the rocks. We can have those discussions around the breakfast table with our kids. And then finally, finally, another thing that we always do in Vacation Bible School is we always do a physical activity. So take your family this week, sink your toes into the sand, find some rocks on the beach, and um, you know, toss them gently into the water or hold those rocks and feel how firm they are compared to your sinking toes in the sand and have those conversations with your family. Um, and by the way, we have several kits left over, um, so it's never too late for um, you to invite your friends to come. Um, just have them get in touch with me so that I can make sure that I, I am available <clears throat> to give them their kits. Um, and then it's also never too late to place your family's rock um, into the fire pit um, as we develop our outdoor worship space here at Shepherd of the Bay. Remember to click on uh, each box, self-paced, take your time and enjoy yourself traveling through the parable of uh, our two builders throughout the week at Construction Junction. Have a great week, everybody, and stay tuned for next week. Bye-bye.